Hi, I'm Michael Fackrell. Today I'd like to speak with you about how to get started in evangelism. Many Christians are terrified of the idea of talking with unbelievers about the gospel. They're terrified even more of talking with their own family and friends because they don't want to lose them. But Jesus Christ has given us three basic models of how we can enter the harvest field. There's three basic ways we can see in the gospels of how to do it. And I think there's something in there that will appeal to everybody. Ultimately though, it's the Holy Spirit who directs evangelism. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit before we can really do this the way Jesus wants it to be done. In any case, the three methods are first of all, the what we could call the benevolent attractional model. This is basically where you go out and uh, do good to people. And if you're filled with the Holy Spirit and you have faith for this, you can heal the sick and cast out demons. Uh, you could also meet felt needs in the community like teaching English as a second language or helping young mothers who often have a lot of uh, pressure on them. So there's different things you can do and by showing love and meeting people's real needs you'll get a chance to bring your story into it and your testimony and people will ask you and you'll be able to tell them as well or initiate a conversation that will lead them towards faith in Christ. The second method is the synagogue model, which is basically go into the place of religious instruction, the place where people who are looking for God are going, and you can talk with them and different ways, I suppose. Paul got to speak in the synagogue, Sydney, and so did Jesus, but if you're not a rabbi, if you're not a, a recognized religious leader, then maybe you can just talk with an individual here and there. I don't know. That's another way. You need to know a lot in order to do that. You need to really study, and that's fine. Some of us are really into study and learning and I recommend that you get as much knowledge as you can apart from everything else. But it's not knowledge alone that counts, it's doing things. We never go anywhere unless we do something, so we have to do something with the knowledge that we have. And then the third way is a very exciting method from Luke 10. We also see it in Matthew 10, but especially in Luke 10, which is what we could call the man of peace model. And in this model, you basically go hunting for a person in the community that is hungry for God and you pray and you you might uh, talk with a lot of people knocking on a lot of doors or meeting a lot of people you're looking for ways to uh, find that person who is hungry and willing to learn and willing to be taught we we'll look at more of these things later I just want to say that we need a multiplying strategy we need a strategy to make disciples who do these things when Jesus said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men, I believe he had that in mind for all his disciples. It's like two sides of a coin. You can't have one side without the other. If we want to be disciples of Jesus, we need to learn to follow him and he will make us fishers of men. These are three basic ways to get started on the journey of fishing for men. The benevolent, attractional model, the synagogue model, and the man of peace model. God bless you. Look into these things more. And may the Lord help you to fulfill his plan for your life. Amen.